could Godzilla exist? We made a video about the physics of a T-Rex, but what about Godzilla? Atomic breath? City-crushing steps? How much of this is science and how much is fiction? Let's break it down. Godzilla's size alone is mind-boggling. The square cube law states that as creatures grow, their weight cubes, but their strength only squares. His legs would snap under his own mass. Each stomp unleashes the energy of a truck bomb. Multiply that by 300 feet and cities don't stand a chance. But his radioactive breath is another story. To contain the energy of an atomic bomb inside his body, he'd need a nuclear reactor. But then he'd either self-destruct or irradiate himself. Even his super-powered skin would be a challenge. It would need adaptations like the African spiny mouse, which can regenerate its limbs. But scaling that up to 300 feet, even evolution can't save him there. Godzilla isn't just a monster, he's a reflection of our own fears. Born from the trauma of Hiroshima, he evolved into a symbol of nature's wrath and humanity's hubris. Like this video if you'd root for Godzilla in a battle against physics. Because sometimes it takes a monster to make a hero.